Okay, folks, you still tune in to a big 103.9, of course, on the hip hop joint. Uh, we talked with uh, yeah. KB, yeah. Jerry Slot, yeah. and of course, we're about to go across Liberia, all the way there in Nigeria, yeah. to speak with one of our ambassadors. Yeah. We all know what's happening in uh, yeah. uh, South Africa, the xenophobia, yeah. which is very, very disturbing. Yeah. We want to speak like a bit on it, but we'll be taking words from the ambassador himself oh. to tell us more about <laughs> what's unfolding <laughs> at its end. <laughs> Okay, quickly, let's get let's get this introduction right here. Uh, good evening, my dear brother. Good evening, good evening, Liberia. Good evening, just so DJ uh, Hill. <laughs> good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's a pleasure having you on the Hipco Joint right here on Big FM 103.9 Liberia. I'm here with a uh, fresh out my co-host. Okay, uh, nice having you, and you guys have done a great job. And you can see that the world is indeed a global village. We're connected together as if we're together, you know. I'm in Nigeria, you are in Liberia, and uh, it's just uh, the power of technology. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thanks, thanks a lot for uh, joining us today. Uh, but quickly, let's, let's hear from you. What's unfolding as it relates to this entire uh, xenophobia thing that is disturbing the entire world? Uh, I mean, it's kind of disturbing even us here in Liberia, though uh, we have not gotten any effect yet, but it's also affecting us, you know, one way or the other because we all are African. So let's hear from you. How uh, is it going? Well, uh, my name, firstly, my name is uh, Ambassador Jemola Sanyaolu. Uh, a lot of my friends call me Jemola Sanyaolu for short. Uh, and uh, I belong to um, an NGO that, that is involved in humanitarian activities, that's Afro African British uh, in diaspora, African British uh, NGO in diaspora, with uh, an organization. And the issue with with xenophobia, it's it, 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 it becoming an eyesore, it's becoming alarming and very disturbing. Uh, this issue out in South Africa is it, it, becoming so disturbing. You know, once in a while, it, it's so pathetic that something of this nature can happen in South Africa, considering the fact that uh, a lot of African countries contributed immensely towards, you know, uh, redeeming the image of South Africa and setting them free from apartheid. Uh, I do not expect that South Africa will pay back with this black on black hatred. You know, because when we talk of xenophobia, it, it should not be even xenophobia. We shouldn't even describe it as xenophobia because we are not strangers. Xenophobia is the fear of strangers. But Africans on African soil cannot be strangers to one another. So we do not expect South Africa to turn other Africans to strangers in South Africa. Uh, in, in, disturbing in the in the sense that even the media, the media in South Africa is not doing enough. We are journalists, we are journalists, we are expected to share information to down tension when there are crises like this. But uh, I'm not saying the, the South African media are doing much to, to alleviate and to uh, to curb this many. Uh, if if the media in South Africa has done enough, you know, probably they would have reminded South Africans on the role other African countries have played to ensure that they gain freedom from apartheid. Yes. And uh, that, and that that that's very disturbing because right now burning of houses and claiming that it's uh, it's other Africans that are taking over their jobs. They are not viable excuses and not to attack other Africans. You know, it, it's disturbing. 
yeah, of course, very, very disturbing. And I, and th- these are things that I, the media has to step into and, uh, you know, and get a lot of reports out there so that the entire world will see. Because a couple of people are, like, acting blind to this entire saga. And it's, it's very terrible that Africans will go for case of uh, brethren, you know, killing killing your own brother for uh, no reason. I mean, it doesn't make sense at all. And we here in Liberia is... It's kind of pathetic, you know, to know that such thing is happening here. But uh, what has been uh, a response from the Nigerian government as it relates to the matter? Okay, uh, in, in the last 24 hours, uh, the, the Nigerian government has decided to uh, recall a uh, ambassador from the South African uh, uh, High Commission. And uh, this, uh, today, the South African Commission has also closed down office in Nigeria. Now, the government in Nigeria is also planning to evacuate uh, Nigerians from South Africa as a measure to reduce, uh, you know, to, to, to save people's lives uh, from, from in that region. So, and uh, the government has done a press release telling uh, both sides that they will go into a bilateral talks to, to, to see what can be done, you know, to, and it, 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 it's, it's more of a diplomatic uh, uh, discussion right now going on. But, but these are some of the measures that have been taken so far to uh, cut this uh, menace. And I think, you know, uh, those perpetrating this kind of death that they have are, are young folks who are not learning who want to take advantage of the situation to, to commit crime. Crime has no color and crime has no bar- uh, barrier. Crime is crime, no matter who perpetrates it. So I think most of those who are learning, most of those who understand where Africa is coming from or where South Africa, how, how other African countries contributed to, to help South Africa become uh, free from apartheid, will not engage in this kind of uh, disturbing the uh, attitude. But I believe that, you know, there are so many trovers and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, misbehaving mis- mis- young folks who want to take advantage of any small crisis to, to, to boggle and all that. But, it, but the Nigerian government, so far, is doing its best to ensure that, like, and I believe that other African governments will also do uh, likewise to ensure that their citizens are well protected. Hopefully, we hope for that, actually, because yeah. this thing is very, very disturbing. But quickly, uh, you, 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 can, you can actually uh, talk on things that we have not touched, just in case, because we, we don't okay. have time anymore. All right. Uh, I belong, like I told you, I belong to, uh, I'm, the, I'm the country manager for Nigeria, country manager media for Nigeria, of African British diaspora, Britannese organization. And we are into migration, rehabilitation, and women and children empowerment. You know, uh, we do all these things to ensure, migration to ensure that we can help people who want to uh, return home, uh, start, up, start up their new life back home. And then we, we talk of rehabilitation, helping people who, are, who have been uh, in prison and things like that to help them get you know, absorbed into the system. And then we do women and children empowerment, ensuring that no child is out of school and ensuring that women are independent and they can, and they can also fend for their home. Uh, that, that African British African Returnees Organization. I'm the country manager. Uh, the head of it is in the United Kingdom, 213B uh, every road. And uh, I'm the rep- representative, I'm the uh, country manager in Nigeria. Uh, Africa is a big family. We should not, we should not hate one another. We are brothers. We should be our brother's keeper. We shouldn't let the Western world detect what we do to, to one another. We should be of value to one another. South Africa, Nigeria, Liberia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Ethiopia, all these nations in Africa combined together. We are all black. We shouldn't be the ones eating each other or eating one another or killing one another. It's, it's, it's unheard of. And it is very diverting that, you know, black can be killing other black. Uh, it shows the level of, uh, of lack of uh, education and lack of uh, understanding exactly. that some nations in Africa have sure. gone into because uh, from, from everything happening in South Africa, it shows that a majority of their populace are, are very unlearned, they are uneducated.
You know, that's what it indicates. And uh, we hope that as media practitioners, we should also employ and engage our, our tools and our skills to inform uh, uh, South Africans and other Africans wherever it is. We should not, people should not try to revenge. You know, like in Nigeria, we heard about people bombing to other other, other, other South African properties. Yeah. These South African businesses belong to Nigerians. Sure. Uh, people, people get franchised from South African companies to set up businesses. It doesn't mean that it is owned by South Africans. But the names may be originate from South Africa. We should not get back. Uh, we should not pay evil with evil. Rather, we should pay evil with good. Okay. That is the only way we can, we can kill all these uh, men in, in, in Africa. Uh, I am Demola Fayalu. And Jusu, thank you so much for having me on your show. It's a, it's a welcome pleasure. Thank you so much. You are welcome, my dear brother. And hopefully on Thursday again, we will have more talks. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a nice day. Yes. Love is the end of what I can be nine, nine, nine. What I feel for you is real. Baby, why, why, why? So my heart is Okay, folks. Nine, nine, nine. This is something I'm just thinking real. Baby, why, why, why? And today, my heart is so, so much great. We were able to speak with a lot of great people, uh, two artists, and the one artist, one uh, sound engineer, and of course one of Nigeria's best talk show hosts today in Nigeria. Uh, gradually the hip could join is getting better. We'll bring you more voices of great people around the world. Uh, we're still making great connections. A fresh out is in the building with me. Yeah. For the boys, it's on J. Slot. One of our guests on today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>